So this question looks like a simplify question. So simplify questions are typically short, right? Between one and three lines long. Here we pretty much have a single line um, because the other thing that simplify questions have is either an equation or an expression. So we see the equation provided here. I'm going to rewrite that equation. It's square root of x plus two equals negative x. So the question is asking, what is the set of all solutions to the equation? And in essence, that's just asking, well, what are the values of x, right? What does x equal? So a great strategy to use here is plug-in answers, PIA. Um, and I'm going to use that by just going through each option and plugging those answer values in for x. So for instance, answer choice A says either x can equal negative 1, not either, but x equals negative 1 and x can equal positive 2. So let's try that. So when I have x equaling negative 1, I put a negative 1 in for x there and a negative 1 in for x here. And what I'd get is the square root of positive 1 is equal to positive 1. And that is true. Now let's try 2. When I put 2 in, I get instead of x plus 2, I have 2 plus 2. And instead of negative x, I have negative 2. And what I get here is square root of 4 equals negative 2. Now, this is not true, right? So we're taught that the square root of a value is equal to the positive or negative, right? Plus or minus um, the square root. But on this test, right, this is very important to remember. On this test, if the square root is already provided, like it is in the original question here, we already have the square root provided, we only look at the positive option. We only look at the positive answer. The only time we would say that the square root of 4 is equal to plus or minus 2 is if we have to add in the square root ourselves in order to solve. So it's a very, a very subtle difference. If the original question does not have a square root and you are adding in that square root, let's say it was x squared equals you know 4, Right, so let's say the question was x squared equals 4, and then you were solving for x, so you yourself added in the square root. Then and only then would you have like an x equals plus or minus 2. But when the square root's already provided, as we have, the negative option is not going to be considered correct on this test. So for that reason, we know that x equaling 2 cannot work, so that means a is gone and c is gone. And then d says there are no solutions to the given equation. Well, we know that's not true because we did see that x equaling negative 1 is a solution. So choice B is correct.